Hiya, it's Mr. Rushby, um, broadcast number two, um, head teacher of St. Thomas Primary School and I'm back again uh, broadcasting from um, the solitude of my family treehouse. So I thought I'd uh, share a few things with you just really to communicate where we are now and it's a couple of days later things are moving on, help you out as much as I can, uh, stay in contact and hopefully be a, a smiley face for the children as well so um, once again I've got my uh, COVID-19 HQ agenda a few little things on there that I can I can share with you and I'm going to try and keep this broadcast uh, pretty short so you don't have to listen to my dulcet tones um, too much um, we'll let you know once again that I'm not actually speaking on behalf of uh, the good people of Brittany but I did, uh, you know, once again, I, I wanted to have a flag in place because um, as, as it does with Boris, um, it certainly adds some, some importance to the things that I'm sharing with you. Um, so, first thing, just thanks. Thanks for this week, thanks to staff, um, thanks to everybody for coming in and being really so supportive this week. It's been a really interesting, um, unusual, difficult, strange week um, from last Friday to now um, everything that we've had to put in place uh, parents have been so good and you know I understand and appreciate that everybody's had to make such a special effort to be able to allow school to work in a way where it is safe and where we can help the right people and we can we can make sure that people are okay now uh, we've we've given out the lunches that's going to change next week a little bit but not until the back end of the week and we'll we'll let everybody know what we need to do there and hopefully this arrangement we can keep going for a little while um so that so that uh, parents can depend on us where where needed and they can they can head to do the things they need to do and take care of the things uh, the, the critical things that they've got uh, to do as well so um thanks to the parents and thanks to everybody um you know just just for being so supportive last week and not adding uh to any of the uh you know, of the worries that we may have um i spoke to lots of head teachers over the last week and the local authority to try and stay one step ahead and to make sure things are uh, uh you know we're doing things right and i feel like at this point in the week um i feel really happy really pleased with what we've managed to do this week really reassured that whatever we're doing what we're doing in school now we can sustain until we get back to school uh and and when we do get back to school um, everybody will reappear healthy, happy, and uh, and and you know ready to to get moving. Um, it's interesting as well how uh, you know how the children will be thinking about these things now and start to work work things out. And, and so I've put um, second thing on my agenda, just a, a big hello to all of the children. Um, I've, I've I've you know not seen them and and or seen them disappear day by day last week. Uh, by the time we got to Friday and leaving the building not knowing when when we we're going to be catching up um and i'm sure you know we, we end up with a bit of a honeymoon period but i think that you know for the children it's really you know it's i'd really like to be able to say hello to you i hope you got my message today that i sent you i sent you a little text message just to say you know stay productive stay busy uh, keep your routine mentioned the other day how important all of those things were now children we talk a lot about effort at our school your effort now has to be dedicated committed to being a team player you have to in your house make sure that you are a star player uh, that you are helping uh, and that you are helping the team to be successful uh, you've got to uh, your family is your team um, and in your house you need to to make sure that you contribute to your team you help your team um, not just in in what you do but how you treat each other um, think about that effort we talk about in school where we 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 treat each other the right way uh, and the effort that we need to to demonstrate in everything we do not just our school work but also in our in our everyday lives and and with our families too so the the kind of effort that i see in school where you're all awesome and fantastic and kind and thoughtful uh, make sure that that doesn't stop uh, within your house please um, so have a have a good day uh, have a good weekend and get the job done i know that your parents are wanting you to do some some good things as well to help you with your learning and we know that learning is really really important so um so get those things done too um, and make sure that you are getting smarter every day 
um, and that you get out of bed bright and ready um, because you've been to bed at a decent time your phone's been put away and uh, and you are switched on during the day and ready to to, to give everything a go okay so that's for the children um, for the parents little idea um, we talked about this week uh, uh, we talked about the importance of relationships and trying not to be a, a teacher really you know teaching and being in a classroom is a, a difficult thing you know we have a, a very clear program of things we need to teach the children it's it's all very specific so being at home and trying to do those things it's, it's not going to work and if that places any strain on your relationship with the children with your child um, then that's not going to help anyway um, w one thing I can, can tell you from experience is that unhappy cross angry children don't learn very well so you have to make sure that, that they are settled secure safe feeling good and then then try and drop a little bit of magic to engage them so a few ideas that, that hopefully will help you to be able to do that um, it was on the news this week uh, they were talking once again about the difficulty of having one or two children at home uh, and how hard that can be uh, maybe now people will start to understand a little bit about what it means to be a teacher and, and to have 30 children in the classroom every day and what it takes to get that job done and once again it starts to, to make me realise uh, the great teachers that we've got at our school and how they manage every day to do those things um, and hopefully you know uh, the nation will will think a little bit about about you know what teachers do and, and what they're up to so a um, little suggestion for you um, I'm gonna use my old-school chalkboard uh, I, I, I can remember when I first started teaching at Bradley junior school and we had the roll around chalkboards uh, quite a few of you parents will remember them where you had your English lesson on one side and then you rolled it round it went round and then you had your maths lesson you had to get in really early and write all your sums on the board already um, and you had the chalk and everything else um, and I can remember those so I'm, I'm quite into these chalkboards I, I do have fond memories of using those to teach children um, quite a few of you at our school um, so my suggestion um, you will be having and reading and hearing about lots of activities to do dancing and painting and sums and and reading and all these things and 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 the one thing that is not good is a timetable timetables uh you know it's good to have structure in the day isn't it and, and uh, i mentioned the fact that structure is important um start of the day uh, bedtimes those kind of things so we're, we're ready to be productive but i think as far as what they do what the children do in the day uh, this suggestion may help uh, it's instead of a timetable and it allows the children to have ownership of their day and they can take control of their learning so that is much more uh, of an incentive than being told what to do um, so give this a little try so what you're going to do is just going to draw what what would be a a knots and crosses style grid on a piece of paper um, you're going to sit with your child you're going to have a few ideas already in mind and then work out uh, nine different activities that could be done on any day um, I would say um, you know in here you need to make sure you've got some reading that's a dead easy thing to do to do it doesn't always have to depend on an adult working with your child although you can if you you want to but if you've got other things to do so let's put reading in there uh, that will be one option um, if if you wanted to to take another option you could do some computing so as i was saying the other day lots of things loads and loads of things to do on ipads and, and so on so um you know th th there's no shortage of suggestions for the kind of things but things like powerpoints children like to do those they like to publish things on word they like to download and research things find pictures put together portfolios um, they can do that on anything it doesn't have to be the, the the school related stuff that they can be studying so if they have an interest in cars let them find out about cars uh, let them write things no copy and pasting that's what i would suggest um, find pictures um, those kinds of things and, and then add the commentary and make a little fact file so computing can be anything uh, another suggestion uh, a little bit of software which I think is really great for the older children which is really fantastic for English and that's a bit of software called Twine um, and that allows children to make uh, text-based adventure games 
uh, like we had when we were kids uh, and those uh, those are, are really easy to make and uh, it gives multiple choice storylines um, uh, it's it's fantastic for English uh, pretty good for computing and then it can be shared so you, you, you other people can play it so you can send it as a little file that will just run in a browser um, so you can send it as an email or uh, you can send it as a a link uh, you know through any any social media and, and those sorts of things so twine is pretty good uh, particularly like I said for four five and six uh, not much to learn to be able to do that um, along with that there's all the other stuff um, you know uh, but, but I would uh, you know online lots and lots of apps and educational things uh, which can be useful uh, so computing so we've got computing we've got reading um, let's think of something else which is a kind of a core skill so these are the two things that you might have every day um, another thing which is a core skill I would say is times tables so whilst we're talking about maths we stick to arithmetic because uh, the better the children can be at the four operations then then the, uh, again that's time well spent TT Rockstars is, is really great for times tables and obviously as you go right down to the younger children uh, you're just going to be looking at number bonds and things like that which there's lots and lots of games so if you type in number bonds into google um, and things like that you'll get stuff that take you up to 10 0 to 10 for our younger children and and up to 20 and working out the relationship by by numbers but you can do that with lego as well you can do it with cubes and all kinds of things it's probably better if the children make if you give them 10 Lego cubes together, how many different combinations can they find to make 10? So you literally snap it in half and then you've got three and seven and then you can write that down as a sum. I might show you a little bit more on how to do that next time. Um, but here, so times tables, um, you can do, like I said, TT Rockstars, but if you put that in as a daily little bit of a daily activity, then, then again, that's a good diet of education. So what we're looking at here is covering some core skills uh, which are really important and also putting in a, a couple of other things to change so exercise uh, we've seen the fella with the long hair doing the exercise stuff on telly um, I haven't really watched him um, but Go Noodle I think is designed for children um, and the children really like it at school so Go Noodle is a, a good uh, workout exercise um, uh, video which allows as well for children to do yoga mindfulness different forms different activities uh, if you could ch get a chance to, to do stuff in the garden, obviously, you know, that's that's an obvious suggestion. But again, we've got a nice little balance. Now, for these things here, I will leave these with you. Uh, you can uh, you can put yourself a board game in there. You can put a card game in there. Um, there's lots of, of different things. You can do some cooking. Um, if you are running around the park, take the phone, count the steps, uh, work out how many steps you've done do some maths around it if you've done 500 steps um, with your child around the park and you've had the phone and the pedometer uh, on it um, how many steps would you do in three days and five days and in a month and over a year um, how does the, the the calorie count look um, there's lots of different things that you could do could take you off in different directions um, but lots of different things that you can do in here that are um, good for development, uh, good for learning um, and will keep you well. So once you've populated all that and you've put all your suggestions in, all your activities that you could do, nine different activities, um, all kinds of different things, not school work, um, then basically the, the job then is just to do four in one day. So your child can choose which four they do, um, but they have to do four every day, a minimum now you might have some things that they have to do so you might say for reading that has to happen uh, but for the other ones they can choose their own fall so it gives them some ownership it makes them feel like they're taking control and then by the time it gets to tea time they can say to you these are the ones that I've done they can cross them off um, and then the next day you start again you make some changes you get some ideas and you wake up at three o'clock in the morning like I do um, and, and you, you come up with something wonderful and then you put that into the next day's uh, plan um, and this is their plan so they can put the name at the top they can decorate if needs be you know um, it just has to be owned by them and it's not a case of uh, the grown-up telling them what to do so that is nine things four things that they have to do 
every day for activities um, and keep changing it. So hopefully that will give you a few ideas for how to start uh, next week because um, tomorrow's Saturday so Saturday you lie in and watch Swap Shop and, uh, and Saturday Superstore um, and when it gets to Monday then you can, uh, you can, you can get going with that um, for Monday morning. Um, so have a good weekend, uh, I hope you stay safe, hope your children are great, I'm sure they are and, uh, and, and I'll pop back at some point with a few other little ideas but thanks again and take care, bye.